We get time for one more. And we don't can stop without telling the story of the ultimate tira. <laughs> yeah, the one with the era tira too. Kanehikili's sister, Pele, the goddess of volcanoes. Now everybody know, eh, Pele. She gets so much mana, so much power, she can change herself from a gorgeous young wahine to one shrivel up ugly old hag to fountains of fire and lava itself. So one day, eh, Pele, she stay tripping around Mount Aloha, mind her own business. Because Pele, you know, she get good heart. She love the Aina. She love the people. Just no make her mad, that's all. <laughs> so she seen one big crowd over by one hill. So she go for check them out. Was one Holua race. You know what is Holua? It's one Hawaiian sled. But the bugger go on grass because no more enough snow, eh? <laughs> and Holua race as Pele's most favorite spot. Oh, she seen that. She fly home. She grab her Holua and she come back. By the time she reach, stay down to the last race of the day. The championship match between Kahavali and Ahua. Two big, strong, young ali'i from the big island. Both of them smart. Both of them strong. And both of them undefeated in Holua racing. So everybody all excited, eh? Because this going to be the match for the side. Who the number one Holua racer of all? Everybody so excited, they stay place their bets and all that. Nobody notice when the young Wahine come up and she take her place right in between Kahavali and Ahua. They ready for start the race, Kahavali look at Oh, small girl, you better go over there, Bamba, you get hurt. And Ahua tell, eh, never mind, let her go. She like playing with the big boys. We're going to leave her behind in the dust anyway. Let her go. So Kahavali tell, okay. The wahine, she no say nothing to them. She just hold her holua and she looks straight ahead. Like she stay checking out the course. And she just smile. <laughs> the referee go, Ekahi, Elua, Ekolu, Imua, and down the hill they go. Kahavali and Ahua, neck and neck, going down the hill. They don't even notice when the wahine go, Pshoo, right past them. <laughs> By the time they reach down the finish line, Oh, now he needs to fix her hair. <laughs> She's been there all day waiting for them. <laughs> Kahavali said, hey, 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 that's beginner's luck, that. You gotta try again. She said, shoot. So up the hill they go, take the whole ones. One more time, the referee go, Ekahi, Elua, Ekolu, Imua. Down the hill they go again. Kahavali and Ahua, neck and neck. And one more time, here come the wahine, Pshoo, right past them. Oh man, Kahavali is getting kind of annoyed, yeah? <laughs> and yet, something about this wahine boy is to get him all excited. First time he see one wahine so gorgeous and so strong. So he tell her, okay, we go again. But this time, eh, if I win, you gonna give me one kiss. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> so up the hill they go again, eh? Try one more time. Now Kahavali, he wants smart bugger. He know his physics. He find one rock. Nice size rock. Put him inside his holua in the front where nobody see. Cause he know the extra weight from the rock can pull him down the hill more fast. At least maybe he beat Ahua, and then the chick feels sorry for him, eh? So, yeah. so anyways, he's still all ready. And one more time, the referee go, Ekahi, Elua, Ekolu, Imua, and down the hill they go. And this time, the rock went, pull Kahavali's Holua, more in front. He even beat the Wahine. Eh, he no can believe. He get off his Holua at the end. He turn around, 
for catch one kiss from the wahine. And what he seen <laughs> when curl his toes. The wahine, that gorgeous young lady, her hair still stand straight up like that. <laughs> Fire stay come out of her nose, smoke stay pouring out of her ears, and her eyes stay all black. Her face stay twisted with rage. And that's when Kahavali know, as Billy, and he make it down the hill as fast as he can, running for the beach with Ahua right behind him. I the poor buggers, they stay running. They can hear Pele's cackling around. <laughs> I'm coming for you now, boy. <laughs> Everywhere she stepped, the ground explode. Trees they burst into flames. The ground stay shaking. And Kavali and Ahua, they can feel the hairs on their legs, they burning up from her breath already. Almost they reach the beach. Ahua, he slip on one rock and he fall flat on his face in the sand. Pele reach out and she grab him in her arms and she wrap him in one deadly bear hug. Ahua drop to the ground. Kahavali seen that more he go. He jump for the water and just as his fingers touch, Pele grab him by the ankle and she yank him back on the sand. <laughs> you like kiss me, eh, you dirty bugger. <laughs> well, kiss me now then. And she pressed her burning lips on top of his face. The last thing Kahavali seen was Pele's eyes, all black with anger, as the last breath slowly come out from his mouth. And you know, to this day, you go Big Island, eh? You look off the coast, you still yet can see Kahavali and Ahua, two big black mounds of lava right there in the ocean where Pele will leave them. And so that you never gonna forget, eh? You mess around with one tira. <laughs> Karen's ball bearings, you gonna get burned. <laughs>